Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on May 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at world weather, space weather, and everything else affecting humanity. Volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, tornadoes. Looking here at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, the sun, large plasma filament, did produce a CME, looking at the last 48 hours incoming and now outgoing, that large fiery region, and as well, coronal holes are leaving. Having a quick look here at the plasma CME, top left of our sun, multi-spectrum here, you see everything that's going on. Sunspot in the north there just died out. As well, coronal hole is no longer Earth-facing. And we are expecting that coronal hole wind stream anytime. Looking here at fiery region coming in. Lasco 2 and 3 showing the CME leaving the surface of the sun. Large plasma filament eruption. Just amazing and powerful. Just like that Iceland volcano, Galdengadalar, I put out about 16 minutes of footage. And in that 16 minutes, there were some massive eruptions in that video. Looking here at real-time solar wind, we are steady at about 371 kilometers per second. Kind of ramping up a little bit after dipping down, but still average no space weather to talk about from NOAA nor ISWA. ISWA showing here CME that left the sun did affect Mercury there. Little orange circle passing by the sun there. That CME directed right at it. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, a power of 36 or sorry, 35. Two healthy spikes there. And we have seen quite a bit of seismicity across the planet. Well, sizable earthquakes anyway. Power of 35, quality of 6.5. Let's get to the earthquakes last 24 hours. Most recent here in Alaska, a 3.8 in uh, King Cove, Alaska, 30 kilometer depth. Moving down into California, into the Juan de Fuca plate, Ferndale, California, 4.3. And as well, Chico, California, 3.0. Notable here, 2.5. Berkeley, California. And as well, Oklahoma, 2.6. But quiet across the North American plate today. Guatemala seeing a 4.2 and a 4.6 there. And Champerico into the Caribbean plate here. Virgin Islands saw a sizable 4.0 earlier today. A 35-kilometer depth in the Virgin Islands. And as well, Dominican Republic seeing their regular small shakers. Overlooking South America, started out the day. This is the largest earthquake of the day, 5.8 in Chile. And as well, a 4.3 rang out just south and a 4.3 back into where the 5.8 there. So there's an aftershock. Overlooking the African plate into Europe, 4.3 here reported last night in Morocco. 13 kilometer depth, as well as 4.0 here in Malta, Italy, as well the Greece seeing a 4.1, 4.0 4 
4.4. Oh, sorry, that's not uh, that's not Pakistan. Here we go, 4.4 Pakistan, 10 kilometer depth. And then Banda C, the Indian plate is a rock in today. Indonesia, 5.0 there reported as well. Sizable 5.6. That's right by the Kerinci volcano and as well Krakatoa volcano. Barren Island volcano. Simaru. All across Indonesia plate here seem to be 4.6 is the magic number today, right across the Indian Asian plate. 4.6, 4.6, and all at pretty much the same depth. 5.0 here reported Marianas Trench. And then down into the Solomon Islands here, 4.7 and a 4.8, pretty deep as well. And then our deepest earthquakes today, 4.4, 4, 480 kilometer depth, Tonga. And then uh, 568 kilometer depth that was reported yesterday. And since then, New Zealand has seen 4.6 and as well 5.2. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Hawaii, still no major movement there. Largest earthquake today, 2.5. That's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Looking at the last seven days, a lot of elevated rings. We've seen some pretty deep earthquakes as of late, and they seem to be continuing. Expect a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Watching the quiet zones there. And as well, feel free to come into the live stream at any time. 24-hour live stream showing earthquake data and as well world weather satellite imagery and keeping tabs on the sun. And thanks, everybody, for over 35,000 followers. Much love to you all, and welcome to the family. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Yes, so many tornado warnings popping off across central United States, the Gulf states, uh, Mississippi, and as well, Tennessee. And there was probably about 10 tornado warnings that went out in the regions today across two states. And as well, Colorado... Let's have a look here. The most recent volcanoes being updated. Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Era in Japan. Ibu, Indonesia. Raventador in Ecuador. Fuego, Guatemala. Senge in Ecuador. Sabincaya in Peru. Nevados de Chilean in Chile. Luatolo, Indonesia. Popo in Mexico. Sebastopochnoi, United States. Pacaya, Guatemala. Sinabung, Nevados de Ruiz. Wow. I think it's time for a volcanic activity report. I did a count last night, and I didn't end up doing a make, didn't end up making a video today, but I will be making it tomorrow. So stay tuned for the volcanic activity report coming tomorrow. Overlooking the Gulf State here, satellite imagery showing that large system developing, and will be heading into Ontario through the short-range forecast. Other than that, no other weather systems affecting the planet, major weather systems, except for the United States. Looking here, five-day forecast, brought to you by MeteorEarth, and of course, Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, it's been a roller coaster of temperatures, and as well, a uh, roller coaster of winds, very gusty winds across Alberta today. High pressure ridge trying to build in, melting off the foothills snow. So we did see some scattered showers throughout the day. But those cool temperatures are going to be still hanging around here in the long range forecast. High pressure ridge off the coast of the United States scooting low pressure system northward for northern BC instead of Washington. And they need rain down there. But yeah, cool temperatures and pretty dry across most of the prairies over the next five days. Most of the moisture will be southward into the United States and as well eastern Canada, Atlantic provinces. So watching as that big system moves through tonight and then tomorrow into Ontario. But then there's another low pressure system here coming out of Colorado which is going to follow 
and then develop and move and probably merge with another low-pressure system out by the Hudson Bay. Overlooking the Atlantic, big high-pressure ridge, pretty dominant and has been for quite some time, keeping those low-pressure systems in a line. Jet stream seems pretty normal across Europe right now. Intense system moving through the United Kingdom and into Central Europe, high-pressure ridge there over uh, Greenland, keeping those systems spinning for sure. So watch over the United Kingdom the next 48 hours. You will see some intense and extreme weather. And as well, the long-range forecast, you could have an even bigger system heading towards you. Tight isobars, very strong winds, and still early in the forecast. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. That could be a doozy. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Russia, and the Indies. Watch for rain to move into parts of northern Pakistan and the West Indies. Later in the week, rain to continue across China. And then another system develops off of the Mongolian mountains. And then more rain for China. And watch for that system to scoot and bring torrential rains towards Japan. Overlooking Indonesia and Malaysia. Daily evaporation rains. They could be intense this week, especially westward towards Indonesia or Sumatra. Five day forecast showing no major weather systems, but we could see one in the long range here, something forming along the equator. Overlooking Australia, same forecast as the other day, pretty much moisture and cool temperatures moving into southern parts. Same with Hawaii, not much has changed. You could see some low pressure moisture coming off of the equator in the long range forecast, but big high pressure ridge dominant in the Pacific as well. Overlooking South America, no major weather systems. Daily evaporation rains continue. Not much to talk about there in South America. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, no major systems, except for later in the week, you could see a lot of moisture moving into uh, Zambia and as well Mozambique, but also watching a very intense system just south of Madagascar. Very interesting forecast here. Just strange. You know, I haven't seen this Meteo Earth app show the systems traveling the way they do right now um, things are changing across the planet and it's evident gonna leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern much love to you all and thank you for tuning in to the daily do today leaving you here looking at some pretty intense and vigorous systems in the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere which is still very cold and nowhere near summer. Again, thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.